क्लास इन टूडेज टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम बेसिक पॉइंट्स ऑफ फोर्स सम बेसिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फोर्स विच यू शुड रिमेंबर इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज अ फोर्स डज नॉट चेंज द मास ऑफ बॉडी इट मीन्स फोर्स कैन क्रश द बॉडी फोर्स कैन मूव द बॉडी बट फोर्स इज नॉट एबल टू चेंज द मास ऑफ अ बॉडी it means if this is your body then any kind of force either it you push it or either you pull it or either you squeeze it any kind of force is not able to change its mass its mass remain same second topic is we cannot see force only we can feel or see its effect only we can observe the effects it means whenever we push or pull or squeeze the result what we will see that is your effect so only effect we can see power of force we are not able to see suppose class you throw the stone first time you cover the distance 5 meter and in second time you cover the distance 10 meter then obviously you can feel or you can see this time when you covered only 5 meter in this time you apply less force you apply less force here and when you covered 10 meter then you apply more force so what is the meaning of that by result you can see how powerful your force is it means your effect what is the result by that you can understand what is your force number fourth point is force is expressed by its magnitude and direction class what is the meaning of magnitude and what is the meaning of direction you all aware about direction but magnitude means how powerful your force is i give you example if i make a force then in this time you can see it cover this distance is it clear and the direction of this force is this so in this time this is your direction and this is your magnitude so because of this magnitude it travels from here to here but again if i make another force from the same point and in this time it cover this is the your direction and it covers too much distance it cover the distance more than this so it means the magnitude of this force is much more than this force so what is the meaning of that the magnitude of this force is much more than this force fourth point is if two force applying in same direction then their resulting force is added i give you the example suppose this is a car and you push the car then you can see your car is moving very very slowly but if your friend is also apply its force suppose you apply force 1 your friend apply now force 2 so if your friend is also apply a force then your car is moving a little bit fast if your third friend is also push the car then the speed of the car is increasing what is the meaning of that why the speed of the car is increasing because you apply force in same direction and in same direction your force are added is it clear so it means if you apply your force in same direction your all the forces are added but same thing if you apply force in different direction then your force are subtracted understand suppose the same car is there you also push the car your friend is also push the car then this car is not moving at all or maybe it is moving where the more force is applied understand but class if f1 is equal to f2 it means if both force are equal and opposite then what is the meaning of f1 minus f2 f1 is equal to f2 means we can put in the place of f2 i can put f1 
that is equal to zero. It means if your both forces are equal and opposite, equal and opposite, then your resulting force is zero. Class SI unit of force is Newton, and its symbol is capital N, and its gravitational unit. gravitational unit is equal to kilogram force what is the meaning of kilogram force class if you have a 1 kg apple then this apple is pulling by the earth by gravitational force you all know that 1 kilogram is pulling by the earth by gravitational force so this is called 1 kilogram force what is the meaning of that it's a gravitational unit it means how much force earth is applying on that particular object understand suppose you have a 1 gram object then earth is pulling that object also and the force is 1 gram force so this is a kilogram force 1 kilogram force means kilogram force and this is your gravitational unit